Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be playing The Murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot. My name tag isn't ready yet, I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. Funny, did I spell that right? Don't you know how to spell your own name, buddy? Hope passengers can read my scribble. Uh-oh, am I nervous? This, is this the first day on the job jitters? Working the train's dining car can't be so bad. Come on, bunny, shake it off. My god, you didn't go slap yourself? Bunny, did I, uh, just see you hitting yourself? M Mr. Conductor, sir! How are you doing this morning? <laughs> Quite alright myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Is everything alright? Well, truth be told, not really. Alas, today's my last day as a conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh, congratulations on retirement, sir. Thank you. My wife is very excited about this. She's already got our plane tickets to Spagonia locked. Our showers been on the fritz. So I'm excited to use the hotels. <laughs> I can see why his wife's excited. Enough of my quibbles. Today your first today's your first day working the dining car. Here's the menu for today. Menu added to your inventory. Okay. I can open the menu anytime to view items I've received. Chili dog, ramen, chicken, cardamom blue. I bet we know who's gonna be eating that chili dog. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> so I'm sure a little quiz is in order. Hi. Which of those do we serve in the dining car? The chicken cordon blue. Ding ding ding! Glad you can read the menu, okay? <laughs> Did you assume I couldn't read? A little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art, high-speed smart train with all the latest gadgets. This train can really handle anything you throw at it. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame her for being wistful. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. I remember that from the interview. What's the event today? A murder mystery party. Nothing better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car. As a home base, so to speak. I'll be with you to gather tickets. But after that, you'll be on your own. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? I'll make you proud, sir. And I also can't afford to lose this job. Glad this old man can rest easy. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Oh, there's a cute train. I see Amy's and Knuckles. Cute! Look at her outfit and the little cake on top. Wow, this train is incredible. What fascinating tech. Look at Tails and his little detective outfit. So cute! You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on a train like this. What did you all expect? You know I always go all out for my birthday party. Ah, that, that explains the cake. Topper. Train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. <laughs> oh, Rouge, you and your tendencies. Calm down there, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? My gosh, Rouge. It was a pen, knucklehead. I was gonna miss a teeny tiny pen. What cast of characters am I stuck with? Get a hold of yourself, bunny. You're sweating through your uniform. Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? I knew he would be the first to ask. Is he supposed to be a sailor? Like a captain? 
Are you a pirate? Oh no, I'm more nervous than I thought. Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's role to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. I'll be coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, bunny, won't you? Just click on whoever you'd like to talk with and we'll collect their ticket. Oh, okay, got it. Okay, let's go with the birthday girl first. Can I please get the birthday girl's ticket? <laughs> Why, certainly. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine train for your birthday festivities. Well, the birthday discount certainly helped. Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds so exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have fun. Before we move along for you, miss. Oh, how fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? Oh, a key. A birthday key. That unlocks any door in the train. Happy birthday. The birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. Okay, let's go with you now. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Uh, yeah, sure. Of course. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I love to show you my ticket. Does, does he have a ticket? Seems to be avoiding eye contact. Is something amiss, sir? It seem I seem to have um misplaced my ticket. Could you speak up a bit? I couldn't quite hear. I misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. He's not hiding his embarrassment very well. Don't worry. We'll take a look around for you and see if it turns up. Oh, that would be amazing. Thanks a million. Seems as though we should keep our eye out peeled for this for his ticket. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of your pocket. And I had to kindly ask for that back. Did <laughs> she pickpocketed him? Rouge. Oh, this was your bus is slipped out. Here you go. Can I get your ticket, young un? Right here, sir. Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? Oh, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt any jaded heart. No way, I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me too. It's my first day and I was a little nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. Thank goodness someone on this turn is normal. Take it, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself on board. Don't tell me you don't know who Sonic is. Don't worry about it. I just like helping. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst. I mean, kids swore you would swoop in eventually, and you did. I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe. Wait a second, is he... Is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Yes, yes he is. I promise you an excellent stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now. Yes, have fun now. Will do, thanks. There it is. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Say, wasn't someone looking for their ticket earlier? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Yes, yes, we found the stuff. We found the stuff. Ah, there it is. That's my ticket. Thanks so much to both of you. Was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd missed a murder mystery. Oh, all bunny here would have their hands full kicking you out. You're right. I wouldn't leave without a fight. <laughs> Wait. Who made me both microwave expert and security guard? I suppose we're not getting paid enough for this job either. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. Of course, just let us know if you need anything else. Okay, everyone. Time for me to read out everyone's role for the murder mystery. And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. Ah, the conductor's car. Remember our promise, yeah? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. 
Absolutely, you can count on me. To be honest, this crew seems plenty capable on their own. And train? As it's funny if they need any help, won't you? That's all I need to hear. You have my trust. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor and his train. Excellent, I'll be off. I must take my leave, everyone. Please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place either. This train is state-of-the-art and has system for dealing with all that. For everything else, please talk to Bunny here if you need anything. Sounds good. Absolutely. Will do. I like that guy. Thank you all for following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all have read your lore cards as well. Lore cards? That must be the details of their motivations. I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud, otherwise people would know the murderer's intentions. Now on the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspect. Everyone has designed roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required for it is my birthday. Of course. Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain and you will be stationed in the conductor car. Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining room. In the dining car. Indubitably. Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon and Blaze, you're a titan of industry. Both in the casino. What's the difference? There is none. Sounds fun. Vector, you're the butcher and Espio the poet, both found in the library. Hear that, Espio? We get to hang out together. And... Do what? Read? Maybe we can make a tower of books or something. Shadow is a locksmith. Hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. And last but not least, me. The journalist reporter. I'll be mosing around with everyone. Can you get all that? Sure. I was listening in. Hope that's okay. More than alright. You can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. I have a map for each of you. I see a C. Everyone's station is marked on this map as well. How convenient. The rules of the games are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused. So inspect everything you can, find clues and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle. And the murderer and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? Everyone to your stations. This is so exciting. A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. I know it's kind of scary. I'll admit I'm a bit nervous too. Shouldn't you two be out there mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. But we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party. Makes sense to me. Seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably expecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has a role to play, so they must be exploring their characters. Do you know what their character's motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. My backstory is that I was best friend with a flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarted by desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, this sounds kinda fun. <laughs> Wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. What's going on? The train started moving. It's so fast! Grab onto something! What is going on? I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! What is happening? Did they crash? Oh dear. What happened here? You're both awake! Yeah. It seems the train has slowed down considerably. Everyone alright? Oh, poor Tail, his head is spinning a bit. It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. 
This train can reach such incredible speeds. We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so I'm not really sure. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others. Bunny, could you get the door? Ah, oh, of course. It seems the door is blocked. I don't think it's budging. I mean, get the fallen shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Let's find another way out. I'll uh, start looking for clues. I'm so sure we're here. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Huh? I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. I know I'm the detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet. Then we'll show to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood. By the flashback. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex flicky companion did. Happy to hear it. Now let's get searching. <laughs> What's, <laughs> What's going on with Amy? Are you sure about that? Empty, of course. On the bright side, this is a very clean trash bin. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? What's this? A rod? The tip is broken. It looks... You have already been attached to something. Is that her hammer? Did it break? I'm not sure if this is related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around. So we'll keep it. The shelf blocking our exit is currently not budging. Hey bunny, look closely at this. I wonder how this side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage wasn't here before. The train has too much upkeep. I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on the shelf is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Amy and find out what really happened. What's the latest? Find any clues yet? I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. Dig ourselves out? On a train? I'll keep looking. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. You accused me on my own birthday? How dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here just for the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have been doing in that time? I don't know, you were sitting idle while Bunny and I were knocked out. You attempted to escape the closet. Prove it. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? What, some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over. Damage makes sense. We have no argument here, you're grasping. Oof, okay Tails, what now? Well, now this train of thought, how does a crack on the shelf lay to Amy? So now I had to explain myself? Well, you see, I, uh, well... Hmm, when I get stumped, I like to think, what would Sonic do? What would Sonic do? Sonic's a force to be reckoned with. He's always running forward and collecting rings, crushing badniks. He never loses. Like, like an endless runner game. I play a lot of those on my phone. Ha, uh, sure, whatever works. Just close your eyes and think, what would Sonic do and find your argument? Alright, let's prove. We're not grasping. Let's follow the train of thought and fire a comeback. Like Sonic would do. Oh, we're playing now? Oh! What is this? Cute. I should have seen this coming. Not enough rings. Um, well, you see, it's because of... <laughs> I knew you were grasping. Bunny, let's follow the train of thought again, shall we? Yes, yes, please. I'll do better this time. 
Hi, for freaking sake. Yeah, 21 out of 20. We got an idea. Here the shell fell, but there's nothing around it for the shell to fall into. They're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived. We're on to you now, Amy. We're on to you now. But, well, I... I believe someone is responsible for hitting the shelf. And you said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into. What was the shelf hit with then? With this! You truly believe a stick could do this kind of damage. Here we go again, everyone. Almost dirty. They're right, a stick can do this kind of damage to the shop on its own. But if it's attached to something, it could, let's say, a hammer? This isn't a stick at all, is it? This is actually the handle to your Pico Pico hammer. You attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. The handle to your hammer snapped right off. Ah. Uh, it's as you both said, I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf a big whack and the handle ripped off. I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment got the better of me. He does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never expected your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups, a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just tighten things here, a little elbow grease there, and fixed. According to my calculations, if you hit the shelf right here, it should be do the trick. Alright, stand back. The shelf completely shattered. Incredible. We did it, we're free! Great job, Amy, let's get out of here. Dang, that's a lot of damage. Wait, is that? Sonic! It can be! Someone murdered my darling Sonic! You seem a bit too excited about this, Amy. Look like the game's begun. I'm finding out who did this at once. Amy, wait, I want to figure out who did this too. Wait for me! What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. That was really convincing, Sonic. Sonic? Uh, body numb, can't move. But what? What are you saying? I don't understand. I just need to rest. Sonic? Sonic! Is he actually hurt? He's not moving. Are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I don't sense a pulse. Am I doing this right? What in the world is going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic! Sonic! Oh no. Oh no. I feel myself panicking. Calm down, bunny. What do I do? I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our pain guests are well taken care of. Again with this flashback, these guests are incredibly renowned. Which means they must be remarkably rich. So I leave their cares to you, bunny. My favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. This is my first day. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this, even if this is part of the game. I just can't risk it. I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. 